Hey, you know me. I am the Batman. Welcome to today's math lesson. Today, we will get to the root of the primes, and we will bring the irrationals into the light. I have brought some extra chalk. Recently, Taylor Swift and the Joker teamed up and showed that the square root of two is irrational. But sometimes the proof isn't good enough. Sometimes people deserve more. Sometimes people deserve to have their limits expanded. In mathematics, the numerical elements never sleep. Complexity and uncertainty will be rampant in the parts of this journey. I can already see things will get more difficult before they get better. But we will seize the chance to solve everything we can. Let's suppose the square root of a prime number p is rational. That means that it's equal to a divided by b. a and b can be decomposed into their respective prime factors. In our example, a has two prime factors, and b has three prime factors. But it does not matter. Let's take the square of both sides of our original equation. And again, we can do a prime decomposition. You can see that a squared and b squared have an even number of prime factors. Let's rearrange the equation and count the number of prime factors on both sides. We already know that a squared and b squared have an even number of prime factors, and p is a prime, so it has one prime factor. That means that p times a squared has an odd number of prime factors. This is a contradiction. The left side of our equation has an odd number of prime factors, and the right side has an even number of prime factors. So that means that our original assumption that the square root of p is a divided by b is wrong. That means that the square root of any prime number is irrational. QED. The answer is QED. Equations are a tool. When a problem arises, it's not just a challenge. It is an invitation. This lesson was sponsored by the League Week. Subscribe, like, and share, so next time they pay me better.